Hi, everyone. About a minute on why after Hurricane Fiona, Puerto Rico should go nuclear. I wrote a piece about this for Forbes, which I published this morning. Uh, but you probably heard that this hurricane uh, really slammed Puerto Rico, something like 30 inches of rain uh, in parts of the island. The entire western half of Puerto Rico doesn't have any power. Uh, according to the numbers this morning on Friday morning, more than 900,000 customers in Puerto Rico don't have electricity. Hundreds of thousands of more don't have water. This is uh, just another example of the, the faltering electric grid in Puerto Rico. This is something I've seen myself. I was in Puerto Rico four years ago after Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Maria hit the island. The electric grid at that time was in tatters. It's never really recovered from those storms four years ago. So why nuclear? Why now? Puerto Rico needs, uh, they deserve rather, uh, a viable, a resilient, affordable electric grid, and they don't have it. Puerto Ricans are American citizens. They're living on American soil, um, and yet they're paying some of the highest electricity prices in America, more than 33 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, these are far higher than what we see here on the continental U.S., uh, with the, where rates, the residential rates are about 14 cents. So let me be clear, a lot of people think re uh, renewables are the answer for Puerto Rico. They get a lot of sun. But what I saw myself after Hurricane uh, uh, Maria, these solar panels were ripped from their, uh, from their moorings. They're ripped from their frames. You can't put wind turbines and solar panels on islands that are hit by hurricanes. They just don't last. They're too fragile. Puerto Rico deserves better. These people who live there deserve better. Some 40% of Puerto Ricanos live in poverty, um, and yet they're paying a, a far higher electricity rates uh, than we are here in the United States. Uh, a lot of people are looking into nuclear power in Puerto Rico, including Jesus Nunez with the Nuclear Alternative Project. I interviewed him uh, a while back for my podcast, the Power Hungry Podcast. They've won a, a grant from the Department of Energy uh, to study the feasibility of nuclear in Puerto Rico. That grant has been held up due to politics. It's a $1.6 million grant. That grant should go forward. Puerto Ricanos, politicians in, in, in San Juan and in Washington need to take a serious look at the future of the island grid and what needs to happen now. Uh, this is wrong, that these people have, have not had reliable, affordable, resilient electricity on their island for all these years. They need a new approach, and I think it should be nuclear. Before I close, uh, click the like button, share this, uh, check out my bio. Okay, enough for today. See ya.